the wings to Borboran. Finds Arellano, the open look. Yes, Marcy Arellano gets his second field goal of the game. Half a step ahead against everybody and slam. Oh. Carilan, back at their in full control of this game. But what about Cabano? It does to Chris Chu. Hooks up the three and catch up. He did it. Looked up. Passes for Apple. Welcome back to the UAAP with yes. Jamal Biscay. Yes. Makes the Astros. Continues. Puts up a three. And probably the backbreaker. For Marcel. Not from what the hell. A tremendous try by D.Y. Zanzibar. For Rico Bayer Hawker. His first dunk of season 70 of the UAAP. Sa simpleng galaw, kay daling marating ang nais puntahan. Sa simpleng click, madaling bantayan ang iyong negosyo. Sa simpleng pagpress, agad mong kasama ang mahal mo. Simple lang kasi ang gusto ng Globe, ang maghatid sa inyo ng mga serbisyong madaling gamitin at intindihin.
What do you say when you have two rivals who have done everything? What do you say when everything that matters hinges on the next 40 minutes? What do you say when communities of both schools are on pins and needles in anticipation of something nobody would have imagined, a fifth game between these two sides in a single season? So what do you say? This is the place, this is the time, each team must make it stand as we welcome you to the big dome, the Araneta Coliseum. Sam Sarmenta here with Randy Sakdalan. This is the big game, the only one that matters. What an unbelievable environment, Sam. We're in the midst of two schools really fighting it out. There's no tomorrow for these two teams. One moves on, the other sits down for the rest of the season. Absolutely. And in the minds of these two schools, all they want is a victory to be able to play the team that's wearing these colors. We haven't seen them for quite a while. They are looking for an opponent. It really depends on the game here today. Oh yes, and the, the, we expect another close one so far. Four games have been played, and this is the fifth one. This, the saga ends today. The telenovela ends today, and we look forward to covering that ball game, Sam. Talagang ABS-CBN ka, ha? Talagang uh, pang ABS ka talaga. Tingnan natin, mga kaibigan, ang nangyari nung game number one's a step ladder, actually. Lasal with a twice-to-beat advantage. Two minutes to go, they had the upper hand, however, they forgot about Chris Chu. Oh yes, definitely no. Chris Chu scoring the last uh, five points, actually seven points scored by Ateneo, five of them belonging to Chris Chu. The last one, the game winner, with 7.3 seconds remaining in that ballgame. Well, you see the offense of uh, LaSalle and Ateneo in that ballgame, just one point, but look at the field goal shooting. Very poor shooting by De La Salle, though they've taken more shots, but Ateneo came out winner on that side. And the rebound score is very, very interesting. 46 to 27 in favor of Ateneo. Oh, absolutely. The rebounds, uh, the size of Ateneo, the percentages. But it's really a matter of possessions and execution in the end, Randy. Oh, yes. And look at the ratio here of turnover to turnover points. Look, Ateneo, 71% in converting points from turnover. Tassal, 80%. Second chance points, only two for De La Salle, 11 for Ateneo. The other interesting question here today is which of our courtside reporters will stay and which will have to take a vacation early on, Randy. We asked Van Alim of Ateneo to get into the minds of the Eagles. Go Ateneo! One day fight! Go Ateneo! One day fight! There you have it, straight from the Ateneo fans, live here at the Araneta Coliseum. And Ateneo has come a long, long way from being seated fifth coming into this competition. But the boys are not going to be content with past victories because today, for the fifth and final time, they are going to meet their arch rivals, De La Salle University, on the hard court. The boys did not join this competition to be third place, to be second place, but they're here to be first place. So tonight, they're going to lay it all on the line and take home an Ateneo victory. Well, it's going to be critical also for La Salle, having lost it twice to big advantage. Uh, last Thursday, and you know, very interesting what LaSalle has in their mindset going to this ballgame as we hear Sharon Yu reports on LaSalle. There you have it from these folks right here. The final battle, the final encounter between the seas of green and blue this season. Fighting for the right to sing their alma mater hymn with lungs out, the right to brag, the right to celebrate, and more importantly, the right to compete for the championship. After last Thursday's shocker, the Green Orchards took their time to reflect, to learn lessons, and to figure out what went wrong yet again. They are now ready to reclaim their dominance over their arch rivals, to cry and prove to the world that we are LaSalle, and we are officially back in the UAB Finals. The blue side better get ready because the Archers' mindsets are on to roasted eagles. Raise yourselves because this is the moment for the archers and the entire LaSalle community. I am as eager as those wearing green to culminate this day with a clenched fist towards the championship. She believes, she <laughs> believes. And no matter what happens today, we will miss one of them when one side retires here today. But Randy, what must 
Lasalle do quickly against Ateneo here today? Well, of course, they have to take a good look at Chris Chudo. He has destroyed them in three of the four games that they've played, and certainly he's a marked man for, uh, for De La Salle. He cannot go on winning ball game for Ateneo. For Ateneo to be able to get into the finals, what should they do? Well, they have to take care of business here. They have to take care of the basketball errors that were thrown in their ball game last Thursday. They don't want to repeat of that in this ball game. Okay, we are moments away. We will still talk a little more before we put the ball in the air. It's La Salle against Ateneo at the Big Dome for the only game that matters today. Fans, 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 schoolmates, classmates all around and tickets, tickets with no nowhere in, anymore in sight and some still trying to make their way into the big dome ladies and gentlemen but one of the important sidelights in this Atene and LaSalle saga has been the friendship of Chris Chu and T.Y. Tang they've gone so way back uh, my friend yep since grade 3 and grade 2 as, uh, as we recall their, their, their memories but certainly they have put up the big numbers in the last ball game Chris Chu of course winning it for Ateneo as opposed to T.Y. Tang's numbers 20 to look at those numbers 14 points 13 happening in the second half for Chris Chu for T.Y. Tang it was all game long two of the best players no question about it for the two teams and in this kind of game they will have each side will have to go to these main players that are in each of these teams of course we expect Ateneo to give the ball to Chris Chu in uh, the trying moments, last moments, they will give it to Christian. T.Y. Tang will coordinate. He will be the director for De La Salle. And there will be opportunities that they'll be taking on each other, Seb. Okay, the only thing left to do, ladies and gentlemen, is to introduce the players and put the ball in the air. It's La Salle against Ateneo. For all the marbles, use all the cliches you can imagine. This is the only game that matters here in the UAAP. More than 17,000 people in attendance inside the Araneta Coliseum and to the millions watching live nationwide on Studio 23, ANC Global and the Filipino Channel Worldwide. Welcome to Knockout Sunday in your Season 70 UAAP. Yesterday, the Ateneo Lady Eagles won the Women's Championship. The De La Salle Sobel Junior Archers got the Junior Crown. Today, between the Blue Eagles and the Green Archers, only one will remain standing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ateneo La Salle, Episode 5, The Epilogue. Let's meet the starters. First, what a squad from Loyola Heights, Quezon City, the Ateneo Bonavale University, Blue Eagles! And forward, number seven, Nonoy Butlow! Forward, number 12, Gert Wong! Center, number 13, Ford Arrow! Right, number five, John! And now, starting with the quintet from Taft Avenue, Manila, here are the Devasan University Green Archers! And by number six, Jamie Cusio! By number 11, P.Y. Tang! Center number five, P.J. OJ Kua and at forward number 8 Bader Manabes the coach of the Green Archers Franz Bomaren the officials for this ball game Bobby Mendoza, Goyo Maniara and Zaldi Sutton and here we go the starting lineups for both clubs Reyes 2, Arao Baclao Long for Lasal Tang, Casio, Walsa, Malabes, Kua. So Lasal coming up with the same menu for the starting lineup for, for Ateneo. They've inserted Kirk Wong in the starting lineup for Coach Ronald Bach. 
Oh boy, they've watched the tapes. They know each other so well. Five games, who would have imagined? In the meantime, first possession belongs to Ateneo. Here's Jai Reyes. Maklau is starting. Maklau just playing so well in the season. Chris Till will be very marked. No question about it. Shot clock coming down and beginning to be a problem for the Blue Eagles. Chris Till off balance misses the shot. Nobody open to pass it to. Here's Kasha. Kasha penetrated quickly. Penetrates it. Kasha oh, oh. already picks up. Attacking the defense immediately. They know that the advantage in height belongs to Ateneo. So Kasha pushing the ball. That's like an wrestling LaSalle in the last game. Really came to for Bumalekano and Ateneo had so many turnovers. Really scorched by LaSalle except in that last two minutes. 25 turnovers by the Blue Eagles. There were so too many of them. Juan Gonzalez was beginning to lose count, but he finally caught up to Dami. And another turnover hurting the Blue Eagles early on. Early minutes of the opening quarter. Kasho wants a good view. Kasho in a bind. Momentarily losing possession. It'll be off Kasho and will go to Ateneo. A good deep play there by Ateneo. They know that Kasho is a guy who can drive and not just shoot me, so they kept their attention on JV Casio and Rasal unable to replicate it that play, turn the ball over to the You know, a seat is the most valuable piece of furniture in this building <laughs> here today. Whether you're green or blue, as Reyes on works, can't get it to pull in, Baklao can't get a hand on it. And here's Malavis, who had a chance to win the ball game for De La Salle last time around. The Rey Trigo, take Tom Sudi. There's Kua Shuri. Nobody for De La Salle inside for that rebound, picked up by Chris Chu. Jai Reyes speaking inside, nowhere to go, starts his dribble. Sips it over to Chris Chu, gently over to Baklao. Baklao with that familiar off of his. Ateneo having problems breaking down the zone, penetration will not work. Chris Chu trying to go on a fishing expedition, no success, nothing caught. Into the other side of the floor as Malavis on at three. No! Lasal wants Malave shooting those threes early on. After the loose ball foul picked up by uh, OJ Kua for Lasal for the first three foul. And let's send it quickly to Van Alem, who will report about Norman Black and the Blue Eagles. Today, unlike the last game, both teams are on equal footing as Coach Norman reminds the boys to push the ball as much as possible and to keep on running right from the start. Once on the court, he said, give it your 100% and you make all your minutes count. As always, it's an emotional game, so throw those stats out the window because it all goes down to Hart. And Hart is at the core of Ateneo Basketball. Seven right here. Thank you, Valerie Lim, for that Samsung Fort Side update. With Samsung, it's not that hard. We're back with it. Dallas out. Burning early with T.Y. Tan finding a way to score. Penetration on the other end. They like to have Otto running on the break. Yep, they want that good attack there. They didn't wait for the press to come to them. Otto, the biggest guy on the floor, running the floor for Ateneo. Because he can be expected. Because he can be towards the basket. They may know who he is. There's a sequence there. A change in the lineup is made by Franz Bumala. And Ferdinand is in the ball game. There's a sign up there uh, in the stands of the green side of the, the Coliseum. It's proclaiming it's the Pumarans. I'm sure they are thinking already of the finals, but I'm sure these two coaches are not thinking of that yet. Nasha deep under the seat, tough angle to work with. Long, lucky break for Ateneo because he had no visual of the ball. Sharon Yu of De La Salle has a report. You know, sir, back at practice yesterday, Coach Brands veered away from his inspirational talk and simply asked the question, will we win? One answer from the boys, yes. The boys came in early this afternoon to practice their shots and they got warmed up by watching their 2001 game against the Blue Eagles. Playing with the Eagles is always tricky. That's why Coach Brands said that executing plays and assumptions require guidance among the players. Offensively, the boys should not be contented by breaking the press alone. They should look out to score. Defensively, they need to watch out for pick and rolls and drop passes. Put a body on them and rebound. Expect that the boys are playing with a killer instinct today. Seven, Randy. Thanks a lot, Sharon, for the Samsung courtside update. But Samsung is not, not hard to imagine. In the meantime, we have Pua shooting from the outside. Lasalle has been aching for this guy to explode, oh, actually. Yes, you know, uh, OJ Pua, he was practicing very well. He shot seven points in the last game. It was an X-Factor that Lasalle won in that ball game. 
6-2 early lead by the green and white. This for Dara. Bergen are trying to anticipate that curl, but they go to Kirk Love to under his goals. Well, that's what the players are doing very well so far. If they recognize the double team, the guys are ready to pick it up and Kirk Love. Really, what a contribution to Coach Norman back this season for Avenir. Gamble talaga pagka dinobol mo si Ford Araw eh, no? Lindy pa yung mga shooters ng Ateneo. This ball is loose. J.B. Cashy says, thank you. He doesn't take the track. Palavis, yes! We're going to increase now for Telesan. That's the ball game. Ateneo's defensive rotation faulty here in the early going. Sounds of turn up with Sanchez. It's not that hard to imagine. Back here at the Big Dome, Dallas out shooting four of nine, Ateneo two of six, and the Green Archers are ahead nine to four with 5.40 remaining here in the first quarter. A pleasant Sunday afternoon wherever you're watching as Chris Tew momentarily wiggles open. They want to go to Ford Otto where he's working on, swagging the shot of Otto. Here's Jai Reyes, he loads it up, short. Jai has been in a slump. Yes, you know, he has not picked up the game the best game that he has played is the one that we covered. Game number one in the yep. first round of elimination. After that, I, I've not seen him play the same game again. Malab is attacking. Swatted by Baklao. And Baklao just developing that shot block of this. You know, I was looking oh, over the stats of Baklao. How much he has improved from round one, second round, and now here in the final four. That's this is brought to you by Smart, the power to lead. Pasha, separation, move, no success. New white time, blocks the rebound, and he's on the baseline. Oh, wait, I speak to you, there's an Atene foul. Chris Chu picking up the foul. Team foul situation, two for LaSalle, one for Ateneo. What quarter did you decide to the way they played this year? Well, all the games that we've seen, the one that we covered, and that we've enjoyed, no question about it, Sev. You know, we've enjoyed every ball game that they've played the all four. Uh, despite the fact that Nathaniel may have the edge, the number of games won, each one was fought fiercely. Malab is attacking a bit out of control yeah. and off the yes. rebound. Baklao secures it and a foul against Ferdinand. That's very exact uh, description there, Sev. Malab is trying his wares, you know, not his comfort zone. He took the three-point shot, he was in good position, but not this time. Ferdinand with his first foul and the second Dallas all team foul at the nearest one. Salamat steps in for the first time. Baklao. Not a problem, still at the day ball. Really the problem with the uh, pressing oh, defense. Oh, no? That no, wala yung bangis ng press na yun, pero bumalik eh. By the way, Cholo Villanueva is in the game. Struggled in game, uh, previous game, that is, in the step ladder. That's how keep in mind as a twice to be. They, if they won last time, they would have been already be in the finals, actually. And an offensive foul, McLeod with a bad screen. Uh, making a, a foul, setting up the screen. So Malabas will be given the warning for trash walking to Baklao. First foul to Donay Baklao. You know, if I were... It's Malabas' first name. But there. But there. Not today. Not today. Don't give Ateneo a reason to rally here. Yep. Well, he is allowed to take the talk. Enjoying each other. Uh -huh. Well, with the entry of Salamat in Escueta, I expect very serious and a pesky Ateneo offense. Even the energy didn't get out of it. Fair to the population of two. And uh, Jai Reyes, when you saw things that uh, Salamat and uh, Espeta Boy, it's going to be run, run, run for Ateneo now. Well, I want to supply weight then. In the meantime, there's going to be a foul. Malamang kay Maglao, but at least he swatted the shot. Yeah. You know, if you're a shot blocker, you'll go for it. Why not? Diba? And you know, it is so open. It's so inviting. Maglao already did it. Block. And here comes Steve Whitehan, a guy five, six inches below his height. And Norman Black is so limited about that call. He felt that the contact was initiated by T.Y. It should have been a let go situation. And he's yelling, Bola. And we believe it. <laughs> a friend of a very good friend of ours, Norman. Oh, Joseph. Yep, Joseph Yo is in the venue. Yeah, no, no. I mean, 
Pagkas ang Idrosip, yung pagkaslasher na yun, yung instant impact offense na yun. The kind of players that they had before, that Lasal, for this season, they were uh, discussing, you know, we didn't have a Joseph, we missed the map of the Italian players. And certainly they want something like that today. So Salamat, he will attack. This shot at the last moment to Baldos. Yes, that's the point that we're seeing. Salamat will not hesitate in attacking the defense. Missing off an assist. Ateneos with it five. Michael Baldos has played well since the UST game. Oh, that's going to be a foul off the ball. The poor foul gave it there by De La Salle. Salabat was just pressing. No, it was just pressing uh, Barua. Ito, uh, yung play kanina as we take a look at this KFC assist delivery brought to you by Delicious KFC. Plus, you can try the uh, new, fully loaded meal, all your KFC favorites in a box. I found it at lunch. You know, KFC. Of course. Wala, we don't expect it to be the last of very long. Kalabang ko dyan, mga pamangkin ko. Patakaw eh. Here's Baldo shopping around. The attendance today, man, do you like this? 23,350. Whoa! 23,315. And uh, I think a number are still trying to get inside of Baldo I think uh, they were trying not to go over here this way. So I mean, comfortable 20 to actually 23. Say, actually, we can't have to have a number of Here, Walker, the speculation that he may be really hurt more than anything else, but it's hard to think of one. Uh, at La Salle at this point without Mayor Hoffer all the way. A lot of today say that Mayor Hoffer played a soft game the last time around and they expect him to come strong here. And what, what, what is the final game in the series between uh, against Ateneo? Winner moves on to play UE in the finals. UE has been 18 for something to play against. Otto forces the issue. Open for a foul. Know what these young players will have to learn quickly as Cholo fires but brings out is that you can't get the foul by looking for it. As you know, expecting a whistle. Just go for it if you lose the ball right to the feet of that. There it is. 23,315 in both green and white. We don't know the exact demarcation <laughs> lines. Air Hopper snapped away by Long. He pass anticipated. Here comes Yuri. Yuri Energy! Oh, you are so right, partner. The energy that this weather provides. You know, that's what they're missing. You know, no, no pepper in the game of the shoe. They're coming. They came out flat to start the ball game. And look at this wipe of uh, Kurt Long. He knew it's going to come his way. Now, so good. They cool and clean steal of the game brought to you by C2. Cordano will get a rest, 3 minutes and 32 remaining. Dallas Hall is in front by 5. Different yeah. start here for Cordano. The last first he did, he was on fire early. Too strong on the first try by Escueta. Escueta did not score any points in 23 minutes of action last time around with Ateneo 165 to 64. And he's been around in almost every game. L.A. Tenorio. Yuri's quit at this two seasons. Second round of elimination, Yuri was the guy for Ateneo in their game against De La Salle. By the way, Barua is in the game uh, as they shop around. This is a five. Let's see if they're accustomed to playing together. Mayor Hopper looks for the opening. He's oh, picking. He yeah. did the defense very well. 13 to 6, 7 point lead by the Archers. You know, Mark Molina likes to use the word athletic for Mayor Hopper. I guess that is most appropriate. You know, and for Ronnie, he's an athlete. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a Samsung timeout with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. Tell us all by seven. Just a slice of the 23,000. Around. We were getting the double man of the bullet. He seated beside uh, Oji Narvasa. And uh, we were telling him as we take a look at Enrico Villanueva that uh, we wore red, our Nike reds today, so that Dindo will have somebody to play against. And he 
seen alumni from Portugal to Montreal. Yep. Yep. They, they, they've been here before. They are offer and the Green Archers are ahead. Oh, look at that twirling shot. Oh, what a prayer. He was able to put it up. And it's a nine point lead, the biggest lead of the Green Archers. Atenea starting very flat here in the opening quarter. 238 per minute. There's Salamat. Salamat zigzagging against Rina Mema. Twirling, dishing off at the last moment. And now we're sitting twirling away. You know, he was able to pick up the attempt of Eric Salamat. He was so far in the ball game. Trying to resuscitate the energy for Ateneo. I'm not going to point that out. Pumasa ki Salamat is kweta. Iba energy ng Ateneo. And by the way, Zion Lateri is in the ball game for the first time. Here comes Yuri. Yuri pushing hard. Yuri going all the way. Ends up short. Malamal Hussein in one run. Rebound being contested. One by Delasal. Here we go with Jamie Castro. Lead back to the level. One of the best finishers in the UAP. Unable to get a turnaround shot. There's a foul. You know, he has to make a turnaround because Hussein was really waiting for it. And Hussein could not believe the foul was called. Ateneo getting the rope end of the ball so far here in the first period. KFC assist delivery brought to you by KFC. And you can try the new fully loaded meal while your KFC favorites are in that special box. They get the foul at Zion there. And his first foul, Mahaha shooting. Uh, free throws really hounding De La Salle in the series against Ateneo. They have close games, so you count the missed free throws. Oh, oh, oh. It's James Mahaha's second toss. Oh, won't make it. And here's Jai Reyes back at the ball game. A minute and 55 in a rather slow moving. Uh, actually, no penalty except for the so far. Rather slow moving first uh, quarter. Think about it. Here's Amir Salama moving inside. The lead is seven. Penetration. They shot in the last moment. Zion digs it over to Al Hussein. Turn around. No, oh, three seconds. Good ball. Good ball. Yeah. You know, strong bodies on the floor. You know, Lasal anticipating really the hand of so the report of uh, Sharon, they really paid attention to that play of Ateneo. Zion is really gun shy. You know, he does not like being the first option. Norman is yelling at him right now, take the shot, take the shot. Because there are times he'll be caught with a 24 or a three second violation, as in that case where Harper is fouled in the air. Yeah, that's a difference, but Lasal can really defend. You mentioned about taking shots. Now you can be gun shy. Very important. Number two on Zion. Well, Norman Black make a move to pull out with there. You know, uh, TJ and Wilma were pointing out how Norman uh, follows the uh, adage that if you have two fouls, miss it down. Yes, you don't need to go back in the first half because you get to the third three in the first quarter. They are all for missing the free throws. Then us all free, shoot, free throw shooting a problem. Uh, this is two. Mayor Hoffer, this one. And then it's all about getting 50% free, out of six. You know, the most of you need to be in the end, in the end, in the end, in the end. And there's Norman Black talking to Zion, but they're about taking that shot, I'm sure. Yeah. Zion, the tear, it's down. And he really is better, and loses the basketball. Again. On the sideline. Good impression on the ball carrier. LaSalle forcing another turnover. Four turnovers against Atenea de LaSalle. A six. This match of points over against Yuri Escueta. Back to a turnover. What a move! He can't get it to drop the rebound back by Valdos. Here comes Salama, the jump to Esqueta in the jump go! Big there by Esqueta. He needed that to be in some space and nails within six. Here's Hopper putting up a hopeless attempt there. And went nowhere. The pass into the pass of Salama. Up in the air. Yes! Oh, with a run here. And then within four, that's the one that they wanted in this game. Here, Hopper. Mangahas, Espreta, Wolf Hawk. Three second violation against the LaSalle. And they are forcing LaSalle to get out of their system, doing some one on one plays, a lot of people said. And what are the results? Four straight points for the Nail. Well, the one, uh, big ace of the skin in normal boxing, Baldos. I tell you about this prospect. 
brought to you, brought to you rather by Patron XCS. Now the turnover story, both sides with six in this opening quarter. How about it? How about this one? They got a bag of water. 32.8 remaining. Salamat says hello. Can't make it. I was aiming and in it, but you can't control it. By the way, Pat Pitts is in the game for the other side for the first time. This is it never. Fight by Salamat! Salamat have a step ahead of up and go! What a lift from the bench for Eric Salamat. And that'll do it for the first quarter. And today I'm coming back. And Mike Wong's going. And Ateneo burning the song with fast break points 8-2. to two. Don't forget that as the quarter ends, enjoy cool snackables, 35 pesos and below with games is new while zooming snackables. We'll be back with you in just a moment, but we'll tell you about the accent your high performance of the quarter. Tell us how containing the early tempo. But Ateneo with a late end of the quarter surge back in a moment. Two point Delasal lead for the top of the second quarter. Sorry, Martin, ang Ateneo na yun, hindi na nabigyan si Presbo para ng chance ng balik si P. White Tang, ano? Yan yeah. ay balik na niya. And now, an opportunity for the Blue Eagles to try and spot him as we start the second quarter. Well, they really lost focus for De La Salle. No? They didn't go to the system. They were going one and one and Eric Salamat was just destroying their defense with his uh, run-and-gun style. Chris Chu is back in the ball game. And hits his first basket of the afternoon with a running shot. You know, Chris Chu is reviving the dead art of the running shot, actually. We did it finishing the game the last time around. That's why we have a Sunday ball game. Ateneo on a 10 to 1 run since the 230 mark of the opening quarter. Here's Jai Reyes. Chris still feeling it. No whistle. No whistle. Yep. So he no. was in the same in the contact. He was starting the contact. That's why the reverence didn't blow. And Ateneo was reacting why there was no foul yeah. called on Bader. You try explaining to all these people <laughs> if you had the microphone, and uh, of course they don't think that way. And if it happened to Dallas, I'll say thing. Yes. But you know, it's right. Chris was inviting the ball back in. He would not earn, he had to earn it. And then Aaron Lasalle are tied up. Oh, what a spin! Lakas, lakas ang tira ng kinoy. You know, Lasalle is not what the basket in the last three minutes of this ball game. Tagal, matagal. And Jai Reyes. He's a crease. Oh, here is a chance for Ateneo to grab the lead after a quick start by De La Salle. Something I did not notice in past De La Salle teams. You've been covering the UAAP. How many years have we have been? Seven. Seven years. Uh, eight, now. including oh. this year. There are moments when he stops in it. Then they begin to miss players like Cardona, Retualo, and Joseph Hill. It's really a different batch that we're looking at. And Jai Reyes, you can't buy a basket from the outside. The <laughs> uncle. The, uh, actually, I thought him how to shoot his free throws. That's a big yet. Wow. Uh, if you look at the form, it's the same as mine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you, you have to enjoy that moment, Sam. You have to enjoy that moment. And uh, this game, oh boy, here's Luigi Trillo. He's claiming that he was forced by his wife, Ria. <laughs> he went to Atenea to come to this game. Yeah, Luigi wants more the De La Salle. Oh, proudly, beautiful. proudly. Oh, 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 the foul whistled against Al Hussein and on the board right now is Antonio's first taste of the game. Yes. 
Uh, alam mo tayo, alam mo, regardless of our school background, we don't want anything to happen to the players. Uh, their career could be at stake no, in, in such incidents. The Arrows back in the game for Ateneo, given an opportunity to get this game going. And T.Y. continues to miss. LaSalle, for that matter, continues to miss here in the second period. Some Chaco brothers. Para to Benz and Ati. Huh? Have a choice for well. Oh! That's not usual, sir. Wala doon sa parkado niya si Odi Alcacer today. Ma Dream Hills yan. Bukang nangin, kailangan na lakit siya ng De La Salle, si Gary B. Yes, si Gary B. ang nandito nung nanalo ang La Salle. In that knockout game, the second spot. There's Chris Chiu. It's an 18-16 gun. Chris Chiu wiggles open. Just missing the iron. The bottom of the net, that is. T.Y. Tan gets past the Mayor Hopper. Mayor Hopper sends it over to Malavis. Malavis exactly who's coming. Puts up the shot, can't get it to drop in. Here's Watson, goes up. A little too strong. Rebound is good. Chris Chiu says, I've had enough. Pass over to Kirk Walk. Kirk Walk attacking at Will Carter. Oh! 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 The Eagles jump out in front by four. Now, the Sun has to call a play here. They have to settle down. They're forcing it, and as you say, going one-on-one -on -one yeah. without going through the rigors of their offense. Well, not very patient, uh, De La Salle. Right? Right? To go one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, it's so easy for the picking for Ateneo. But Ateneo on a 6 to nothing tear here in the second period. And capitalized on by that fast break and pounding that on with that Patronix. He has fast break. They're really burning La Salle by running. Masha will have to leave the attack. Three. Oh boy. Just horrible shooting yeah. on the green point. Couldn't get it in from the outside. Maybe they should really focus on getting it right to perimeter, just inside the arc for them. Lasalle, without a field of the last five minutes, the last basket happening in the 30 mark of the first period. Yes, and you know, they're lucky they're just down by four points. They just make their numbers better than they have. Why quick with you? First off, the boys were asked to settle down, stay focused, and play as a team. They were told to take its dog inside and to keep pressure on the ball. Also, Coach Norman told them, don't try to be a hero, but don't miss up an open shot either. Seven, Randy. Wisdom uh, for his young players. Don't try to be a hero, but uh, he's smart like yesterday. Uh, ultimately, somebody's going to be a hero after the end of this ball game. Big for Atenero for Tazal. 11 on the shot clock to green and wide. Here's Malades looking inside. Cut by T. White Tank. No chance for a pass. Masha pulls up from 16. Looks straight. Not true, however. Rebound. Scuffle. Atenero foul. Ara. Getting a loose ball foul. Number one on board. Team foul count three against the green and white. Blue and I'm oh, sorry, three against the blue and white. Green and white with one. Still no field goal for LaSalle. Patagal, no? Patagal. This is not something you normally see, especially if you compare it to that last game after. Yes, finally hit that a bucket after that long, long drought. That's a good start for them. Not a sissy shot, not a perimeter jumper, but a layup inside. Ara is the speed of the over, sir, pushing Mayor Hoffer off the ball. Mayor Hoffer has a dry smile on his face as he got that off board. Ara in second, Sharon quickly did. Coach Brad noted the need to improve on the players' decision making. Offensively, they were told to choose their thoughts well and make extra passes. During the first quarter, we've only had three assists as opposed to the blue team six. In addition to that, the Eagles made four steals, so we need to take care of the ball more. Defensively, we need to stop their fast break and contest early up. Devin Randy, over to you. In the meantime, Kasha. 12 on the shot clock. Kasha now getting uh, warmed up. It'll stay with De La Salle with, I think, two seconds remaining on the shot clock. He's not really looking to take the perimeter jump after missing a couple of feet from the test. But that's Jimmy Kasha. T.Y. Town puts it up. Got it! Oh, you know, if you're watching this, whether you're a LaSalle or Ateneo fan, it's not going to happen where the other one is just It's not going to happen. It hasn't happened that way in the season, at least. 
There's Baldos. Baldos with that spin. Puts it up. Difficult shot. No connection. And the rebound controlled by Walton. Already with his third rebound. Check that to score. Baldos! Oh! The oh, Here comes Kirk Long. Kirk Long on the attack. Baldos is asking for it. Kirk Long will wait for the rest of the game. Dry Reyes asking for it. They go downstairs to Baldos. Baldos looking inside. Baldos pounding, pounding, grinding. Can't get it to go. The rebound, Baldos again. Baldos wants some more. Chew! Oh, horrible shot. Natulas, kita mo. Mas pinapit mo na sa ligis yung kamay niya. Kasha peaks inside, nowhere to go. Tight ball game at 20. Masala, the biggest lead of nine earlier in the first quarter. P.Y. Tan can't get it to roll in. Ball is batted away to stay with Dela Sal. That's, that's, uh, that's a new thing. See why Tom Bolsky. Guy Reyes is part of the play of LaSalle. Our score is tied at 20 apiece. Samsung timeout. It's Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. for Mike Baldos. Mayor Hopper missing a shot and 23,000 fans have trooped to the victim. The MRT made a lot of money today. By the way, Dutch and System made a lot of money today. Huh? This too, you're right about choosing moments. He seems to have that pension for that. In the meantime, there's a follow-up that works. Offensive rebound against Rodinero. Second chance shots. Points that that's what they've been doing well against Lasal. T.Y. Tang got Salama jumping. Hirap no, but tumakpas ka doon sa mga kwarja natin eh. Ang lalaki ng mga kamay. Norman, Norman Black has felt that the Ateneo defense is the one that's bringing them farther and farther to where they want to go as Chris Chiu knocks it out. Able to free himself. There was a good screen. The defense not able to adjust. 14 points in that heroic performance. Five of them happening in the end, of course, as you know by now. T.Y. Tang and company have fallen down by four. 3.45 to go. T.Y. dips it over now to Walshuk. They are both the ones that are inside. First two points here in the second period, and they're within two points. Be at 35. Well, this is a quick second quarter, sir. That's what it is. I'm afraid of that snail space we had in the opening quarter. Here's Chris Chu. The sound really needs to put the handcuffs on this guy. 
he has to separate the move, and he gets them to jump into the air. Almost had it though. Well, he is really metamorphosed this season. Started by jump, jump, and see Chris. But yep, yep. He, his role is too clarified by the last two years. Second foul in the Rua. In that uh, game one, you should put it game, I should take a look at Jai Reyes. He's a duo, along with Chris Chu, and he's the three games of the game, but one said, Chris Chu handled the basketball in the last game. So, Kapil Lasal, in any game, take it away from Chris Chu. Oh, yung tanalo Lasal, napunta yung bola kay Lapin. So, it was a different result. Good point, good point. It was a different result. Good point. Kaso doon sa dalawang talo ng Lasal, nagkukulad si Kaya Mokong, lagi ako nauubo sa mga oras. Here's JB! Uy, kanilip lang. Al Husseini. A slice of it secures him. May tulang ng kwante si Al Husseini doon, ha? Four point lead by the boys from Leona Heights. Here's Salamat. He's dribbled out of the front and foul on Tang. He was holding off Eric Salamat. Ah, he's happy to see why na huli ako. Alam mo niya, piruan nga ng mga Rasalisa at Atenisa sa Cebu. With our friends all out in Cebu. Kung ang Ateneo, may salamat. Ang Rasal, may TY daw. So, tin-translate lang daw yan. And look at them, go for the ball. In our smart power to lead moment, mga nanonood sa Cebu, mayong hapon dyan. Nilamot na na. Okay. And we've got a Samsung timeout with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. Ateneo by 4 with 2.46 to go. here. Chris Till and company are ahead by four. Some having problems hitting the target. Difficult shot for Salamat. No chance though. And here comes Kevin Kasha. All business. The open shot by Atkins. Yes. Uh, we needed somebody to score outside of Lam and Kasha in this ball game. The South looking for some gunners here. Why can't hit the target of Jay with his mom? They need somebody to work it up. In the meantime, Salama, his dribble interrupted. And the uh, ambassador of the United States, uh, Christine Kenyon, joined the 
have to see some very good so they're getting somewhere blue and get somewhere green very politically uh not quite not quite so <laughs> wide open shot wild chance for dennis out to tie up this ball game not sure Oh! Oh, no. 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 Oh, they really stick to that move. Aldo Sini tries to jab, step his way. Tries to look for a shot. Here's Chris too. Aldo Sini fighting the free the free shield. And here comes Atkins who has hit back to back shots. Five points in a row. Malades. No. The rebound Aldo Sini quickly to Reyes. One point lead by Delasar. Reyes, long three. Ateneo shooting too sharp. Mm -hmm. no, again, Ateneo is not able to consistently hit from the three point yes. area. Similar to Thursday's ball game. Masyadu kuli sukti na nila. Mahalo ki hili. There's Bear Hoffer, the gentle jumper. Yes! Delasar from the back here with some difficult shooting. Denisal has a three-point lead as we enter the last 35 seconds, so the course out. Ateneo leading by as much as four. That's a big one. UAA three packs so many. Christian top of the key. Into the gut of the defense. Jai Reyes lobs it up. Big pass into the hands of Malavis and Lasal will work for the last key. Both teams have had their run, like Casal is working in a 92 run in the last four minutes. Catch a three! No, 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 no. Somebody hit with the backboard. It's not going to count. Everybody on the green side hoping that they would get some kind of the free. They don't get out good enough. No time to put up any kind of decent shot, but it's been a great first half in terms of action, Randy. Well, up and down, up and down, we talk about streak for both Ateneo and Lasal. And as we end the second quarter of the game, enjoy tasty snack of 35 pesos and below in KFC's new wild shooter. Snack the balls, the last 9 points of De La Salle, courtesy of Atkins and Mayer Hoffer and the action to high performance in the quarter. Lasal getting its bearings before the half ended. What a first half. And so much to talk about, my friend. When we return, it is 2926.
taking care of business. Taking care of business every day. Taking care of business every way. Taking care of business. It's alright. Taking care of business all the time. Taking care of business. We're taking care of business. Let me be the change I want to see. To do with strength and wisdom all that needs to be done and become the hope that I can be. Set me free from my fears and hesitations. Grant me the courage and humility. Fill me with spirit to face the challenge and start the change I long to see. Even if I'm not the light, I can be the spark. In faith, service and communion, let us start the change we want to see. The change that begins in me. You've got dreams, oh, you've got visions. Now's the time to do it. From deposits and loans to investments, cash management and insurance will energize your life. RCBC. Excellence, that is our passion We do it with innovation Do it with energy Do it, do it with RCBC Member, PDIC and Bagnet The game has been played in spurts And each side is uncorked It its own momentum Lasalle had the early surge, and then they flying, and then, La then Lasalle with the final kick at the end of the second quarter as the Blue Bubble Battalion gets their act together at halftime. Sam Sarmento here together with Randy Sandalam. You know, I feel like a big, fat baby having to wear this, but this is just part and parcel of the security menus here so that everybody is orderly in a mammoth crowd situation like this. You know, and what you mentioned about the game with Lasalle and Ateneo happening here in Sweeks, we're not surprised. It's been that way oh, since absolutely. the first game that absolutely. we covered, season 70. Absolutely. And these two teams just clawing, scratching, gnawing at each other. And look at the numbers. Well, interesting numbers. Lasalle, that, that's a regular figure. They, they don't shoot very well against Ateneo. Rebound is the story. Lasalle has more rebounds against Ateneo. Assist Ateneo has more assists and the turnovers kept to the minimum by Ateneo in this ballgame. And in the meantime, it's the number of possessions, mm -hmm. the number of the times that the players hold on to the ball. I think that has been the deciding factor because the turnovers we will always look at. We will take a look at how Chris Chu and the rest of the scorers, like Rico Mayer, how we're coming to life, mm -hmm. especially in the second quarter for the green and white. And they are so far part and parcel of the elite scoring attack for yep. both sides. You know, Sue and Mayor Hoffer, we expect them in the second half that they'll get a good measure of ball handling. And when they want to score, they're going to go to these two guys. Okay, Randy and I and the rest of these 23,000 people, you have not even counted the members of the team, actually. Well, it's going to be more. We're okay. going to be so much more. And we'll be back with more UA action after this. So Lasalle and Ateneo fans, aside from the 23,000 and probably thousands watching right now, enjoy the second down. We're down to this. You will not meet in the finals. Uh -huh. Not this time around. You did in 2002, uh, 2001, 2002. But uh, there's season 71 to look forward to. <laughs> and you can contact ABS TV and Sports Sales if you're interested in uh, participating in our program. Of course, there's a number that you can call on our screens. Your screens, that is. And here we go with the second down. We will begin with 29-26. Delasal managing to uh, push back themselves into the lead after a good run, courtesy of Atkins and Mayor Hopper towards the end of that first half of play. Sam Sarmenta, we've got Randy Sintala here with us this afternoon. Dry Reyes, they shot for the last moment. And Banglao, nursing two personal fouls back in the ballgame. Okay. Fighting the lead to one, 29, Delasal, 28, Ateneo. 
Joshua Pua, Walsham, T.Y. Tang, and Malabes, the unit for France Omare. T.Y. Tang applies the brakes. Malabes and company have a bit of a problem with the shot clock. Six seconds, that's three. It's a three that goes, that's what you want to say. T.Y. Tang over Chris Chu. way with this series, this, uh, this year's saga has been played out, you know there's something going to happen in the fourth quarter. Reyes, Mara, who has been handled by LaSalle well in the game, saddled with personal fouls with two, so is Baclau, and has not gotten any offense going really. And that's really a big back to the field that by Coach Norman Slack. Usually he's part of the regular equation. We don't see that in Port Auto today. Port Auto with only two points. Chris Tu solo rebound. And Chris Tu already with five defensive pickups. Chris Tu zigzagging. And somebody banging Chris. Chris has seen the hardwood a hundred million times, I guess, this season. The most in any season I guess played so. here in the UAAP. First foul on Malabes. This De La Salle and up to now. That five times in one season only twice. This is happening before. Yeah. And those were for the crown. It's different today because this is just for the second final slot. This is Jai Reyes working inside. The shot clock now beginning to wind down to 11. Up to now looking for the best shot. Jai Reyes and works and connects. It's about time for Jai Reyes. Well, I'm not a good defender at the perimeter. Jai has been aching. For a repeat of what they did in the first encounter between these two, actually. T.Y. Tang spots Malabes. Bakrao switching over. Malabes three. Off line. Also picks up the straight shot. The curl. The dish up. Malabes. Well, ito nila si Bakrao. That was the problem. Okay, okay. Because he knew that Bakla was coming over to help and Malabes couldn't just go straight up. He was already blocked once by Bakla in the ball game. And then they're trying to regain the lead here. Chris 2. Malabes watching it very closely. Chris Otto unable to make that curl. Gets the shot up. Oh no, Jairez says that's what's I do. Who's here? What's I do? He's in a rush. Here's Long with a big shot earlier. Ends up too sharp. He was defended well against. Tang. Tang open. Walsham changes his mind. Goes up. And the basket on the follow. He gets it hard work there from D. Walsham. Then us all by three. Chris to being set up here. Malab is trying to chase him down. Chris to trying to control his dribble. The double team beats him up. And Malabes will score. Easy pass to turn the turn over. He didn't even put like a big piece to go. Well done by Delasal. Well done. 36 to 31. Bomb goes inside. Problem for Antonet when the ball is on the ground. That's a good caution. It was all over Kirk Long. Foul whistled against Kasha in the second of the games. And Ferdinand is back in together with Cholo Villanueva. They're trying to buck that today, and this is something the South is holding on to, that it will hold true up to today. Let's send it over to Van Alem for an Ateneo report. The boys gave each other encouragement and advice in the dugout before Coach Norman stepped in to tell them to stay aggressive and make sure they stick to the game plan. Ateneo needs to make good outside shots instead of rushing to put up flags. Defensively, they were asked to get organized and play better transition defense. Get that rebound and get that opportunity to run. Thank you very much, Van Alem, for the Ateneo board side update. In the meantime, Chris 2 on courts and 3. Oh, fine. Baclau with the foul. This will foul with only Baclau. This year with an open look. Baclau, that's going to be number 3 on Nonoy. He has come to life here in the third after sitting the rest of the first half. 
Samsung take a Samsung timeout. De La Salle is in the lead, 36 to 33 with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. here at the Adam Hampton Coliseum, Dallas over with a three-point lead, and the ball going haywire in the meantime, here's Salama, the energizer of Hampton Hampton, over misses, missing the opportunity to secure the rim, but finally got it, Sharon, you quickly deal. Coach Brad's defended, he was very disappointed with their bad shot selection. There were a lot of more shots, and they did not provide safety. The Blue Eagles scored 10 points on fast breaks during the second quarter as Coach told the team to hustle back on defense. Defensively, watch out for their drop passes as the Eagles made 8 assists during the second quarter. Offensively, two shots well and we under control. Devin Randy, over to you. Well, thank you very much, Sharon. Uh, the meantime, Chris Jewell, watching here of the uh, switching and the Kakatalo the screening, the back pitch, and the cross screens, the kakabagaan ran here. They really need to batter down Chris Chiu because they know he's going to be the big guy for them. He turns the ball over. Chris Chiu trying to get the ball downstairs, going nowhere. Opportunity for Denison to increase their current drive point lead time down to 439. Here's Kua, a little too strong on that beat. Chris Chiu beginning to control the ball a little more here. Looking for some opening downstairs, can't get these big men involved, that's a problem for him there actually. And a foul on Ferdinand, two in a row, that's three against him. Deep foul situation, Ateneo has four. De La Salle has over the 14 foul here. And somebody reminded me to mention our silver works outstanding alumni of the game. This is Joey Campos of Ateneo Economics 1968. And he's a high-ranking official of the uh, multinational club. Corporation actually and uh, Silverworks is uh, somewhere that works. Uh, you can show your true colors with your own custom made college ring from Silverworks. The silver before Silverworks, the silver uh, word that works will be giving away championship rings for the first time this year in the BC season. Well, it's certainly by Coach Norman back in the ball game here in the third. Arao forces it up and scores. You know, he scored the first couple of points for us now in the last game between these two sides. And they're hoping to get some dividends from him. In the meantime, De La Salle still ahead by three. Good penetration, nowhere to go, however. Hindi nagtatagal ang 
Sang D, who's out with their team. However, Cholo Villanueva, the Black Superman from Della Sal, taking it away, increasing that lead to five. Long cross court pass to Montfort, who's in the game for the first time. Salamat begging for the ball. Salamat sees a crack in the defensive wall. He was clobbered on the way in. Yeah, that's really the, the point that he's making here in this ball game. Eric Salamat drives And he attracts foul from Ferdinand. That's going to be number sunod, four. Sunod, sunod. Taklung sunod, sunod dito sa quarter na to. Let's update you on the turnovers. But first, the cool and clean steal of the game presented to you by C2. And the turnovers, 11 by Ateneo, 8 by De La Salle. De La Salle scoring 12 points off turnovers, Ateneo only 4. Salamat gets it to trickle in. 31 remaining here in the third period. And it's everything within striking distance. Either oh, Ateneo absolutely, or from both sides. Salamat now with a total of 6 points in this contest, down to 3 and 30, third quarter action. 1 4 trying to harass. The trail play, Mayor Hopper can't control it. Here's Zion Leter, Chris Chu, and Ateneo with an opportunity to come in closer down. Ooh, Balsi Walsham. Balsi Walsham. 22 free throws for Ford Otto during the penalty. Number five, DJ Walsham, his first penalty. You know, I talked to some Ateneo fans during the uh, time break outside. Mm -hmm. uh, Ford Otto. Every, every, every. So I go, oh, have fun, enjoy. And tell them, you know, and you know, but uh, all within these, the limits of the sensation play. You can probably only learn, and uh, it's not easy to be a referee. Yep, so mata ko ka, pipito ka pa, mag-iisip ka. Father, Father Ben Nebres uh, of Ateneo. He's a little bit of a for OJ. Oh, just a one-point ball game now, Seb. But I think also the energy is not lost in this ball game because the lead is always manageable for the trailing team. I see you know it. Oh, kaya hindi nawa wala yung puso in the ball game kasi hindi ka natatambakan eh. Chola trying to sing now. The play with his jersey. One point game. Three minutes to play. Inside. Night yell at their ball. Yes, it is. They've been trying that play. No? Uh, the third play of their... With Meyerhofer cutting from the weak side, getting the ball from the top. The second foul of Leter. Checking that the third foul of Leter and the second of Ateneo team-wise. Samson timeout taken with something it's not that hard to imagine. One point lead by the Green Archers.
that does not work. And Atunea takes it away with an unrenewed opportunity that is to regain the lead. What is he doing in the Mabagna you know, Dribble to Chris Stewart? Huh? He did he just explode. He just the pick very well. Cordaro. Behind it there. Salaman with the cut down the baseline. Chris Stewart turns. Misses. Latere can't get to it. Pasha with the lead pass. William Reva wisely does not force it into the air. Mayor Hopper deep under the seat oh, find the way. Oh, oh, that was Mayor deep. Hopper. That was deep. Parang wala nang pupuntahan eh, no? Salamat, Spurs are no. Those are opportunities for Ateneo. Finally, MS, the special report. Vanna, what do you have? Well, it looks like it's time for a trick expo punter more than your usual face of the game. As we present Martin Reyes, 16 years old, from LaSalle Green Hills. And I'm telling you, ladies, this guy sure is a chick packer. New trick extra punter is more than a usual male facial punter. Over to you, Kevin Randy. Thank you very much, Jimmy Kasha. Just burning up today now with a five-point lead with a drive to the basket. 146 to go here in the third. First half ended with LSL ahead by three. That is over. Oh, yes. That is going to count, I believe. That's right. You know, Mayor Hoffer, yeah, that's, that's a boo-boo that he committed. I don't know what's going on. Goal-tending is because he's the ring and uh, the shot was still upstairs. They're really going to call goal-tending on that shot of uh, Chris Chu. On the basket, will go to Ateneo, therefore. Yes. Okay. So it's a three-point game. Kasha digging in deep. Blocking foul. That's really a tough matchup there for Montfort to be guarding a JP Kasha. Ateneo with now three well, team fouls. Zion Latere with four Ateneo. personal fouls. Ateneo's third, as we mentioned, Jai Reyes back Jai in the ball game. Julius Sweta for Chris 2. Sweta for 2. Zion Latere. Baldos out in for Latere. Kasha in 26 minutes of action has scored 6 points, 3 of 12 from the field. That's not very encouraging for D.B. Kasha, but he wouldn't stop pushing it. Hindi magkaiwan na nito dalawang ito, no? Ayaw ka lang yun. Not this season. Malabis. Walsha, good job. The counterpart to Araw on those stabs. The lead is 5 for Lasal. Salamat into the gut of the D. Outside to Araw. Araw trapped. Araw in trouble. Uh, and a ball against Villanueva. A penalty situation. You know what You try to push him because of the uh, baseline. Uh, uh, opportunities uh, for Ateneo uh, to shoot uh, from the free throw line. Uh, Lasal doing a better job of denying that curl to the basket mm -hmm. by Aro actually. Of course, these guys, just because it's Tyrone, see the Jackson Jago, see Joey Santa Maria. These are grizzled basketball men. They know what they're <laughs> doing. And the same thing with the team. Yeah, you've got Norman Black. You've got uh, of course, uh, former head coach, Sander uh, Kachata. You played them four times this year. <laughs> but, but yeah, you, you, cannot sing, you cannot sing getting to know you anymore. Oh. I, I, I know what you did last summer, my dear. <laughs> Rainy season, they still know what they're doing. This is a long season. I'm not complaining. It's just a long, enjoyable, action back thrilling season. There's William Melba. Reyes is watching him. It's time to go to the height. Baldos goes, here comes Ateneo, and then when Yuri is met and Salama are on the court, usually good things happen for the blue and white. Arau, big turn, overcook, he has no timing today. Yep. He's been a pressure, he's in the even shot, he's trying to make it difficult for him to really look at the basket. He has no clear view of the shot of the basket, that is. Malabes to TY10. William Eva, Mayor Hopper, good open jumper! Oh, Five point affair, seven four seconds remaining. Guy Reyes. Inside, Baldos, and Ateneo is out of time, and we're down to the final quarter of the saga. Yes, and uh, it's gonna be a big one, it's gonna be a good one, it's the last for the season. And don't forget that as we end the third quarter of the game, 
Enjoy sweet snackables, 35 pesos and below with KFC's new wild Sulit snackables. And our accent to high performance of the quarter is so noted as higher offer in 20 minutes has 11 points, 5 of 8, and 6 rebounds as well. Which team will move forward and play the long-waiting University of the East Warriors? Find out in the next quarter. Twenty-three thousand three hundred fifteen is the total attendance. Busting the box office again, huh? And we welcome you to the final quarter of what has been a great series of games between these two rivals, Sam Sarmenta, Randy Sandalan, Sharon Yu, and Van Lim. Your broadcast is for this one. Randy, what's going to give here? What is the deciding factor for this game? Well, it's got to be the defense. So who's going to hold court here? Let's take a look at the score. As Pasal scoring two points over Ateneo in the third, 19-7. And a better shooting well, at 50% line of 18 well, in the well, third. And Al Husseini well, with an well, unnecessary well, foul well, because the ball was already in his hands. Yes, and you know, they have clear possession of that basketball. Well, you expect this guy, Nono with the cloud. He's a fourth quarter guy. He complements Chris Jew very well in the series of Ateneo against De La Salle. McLeod will be nursing three personal fouls during this stretch. There, Hopper zips in to Malabes, lobs it up. Unable to score, follow up, no, look at the Giants, grapple, Mayor Hopper, no, and Al Husseini has had enough, somebody holding on to his arm, Mayor Hopper said he was fouled. Well, it would be on Keshko, I believe, everybody is claiming something. <laughs> you know, but how many possessions given to De La Salva in that offensive try, no offensive boards? The emotional outcome of... Which campus is this going to be decided by this game tomorrow, uh, today, my friend? And who will be our PS man? Mazan player decision will be known during the UAAP Awards in the second game of the finals. And by the way, the PS, our friends from PS Bank salute the Salen Ateneo for their strong team spirit and admirable determination. Both teams deserve our respect, no matter what the outcome is. PS Bank congratulates both the Salen and Ateneo. And deservedly so. Chalon looking inside, Mayor Hopper. Traveling, traveling. He's not ready. I don't think Keshkos is ready to come out here in the fourth quarter, fresh off the bench. That's a big gamble here, my friend. And we're going to check out our talent power shot power play of the game. Oh, yes, I agree. No question about this one. Good choice there in the truck. 48-43, 8-43 to go. Yuri Escueta. We're trying to shield Jai Reyes, who is capable of a three. Jai Reyes starts his hop, his step. Oh, oh. angle, no angle to work with. Kirk Long trying to chase with a never downhill score. Oh, no. Let's see Kirk Long go. fly by. Uh, this is the biggest lead in the second half for De La Salle, 15 to 43. And De La Salle led by as large as nine, way back in the first half, way back in the first quarter. At the next play, waiting to evolve. McLeod to Al Hussein, he was hanged on the way. And Mayor Hopper looks like he's the guilty party with his second personal foul. Uh, he he has to stop Al Hussein, he just give him the easy basket. The two critical ones, the guys who are dependable for both Camp Christian and Fort Otto. Otto will be replacing Al Hussein. And Walsh will replace Kishko. They'll have to go with the big guns at this point. Uh, and uh, uh, keep in mind that all drinking water should be just a full of purified drinking water. Al Hussein is first. The big men of uh, Ateneo who developed their free throws in season 70. I keep kidding him about it. You know how Norman was as an import shooting free throws. And he's telling me, hey, reminding me, I was at least 70% on a good day. 
but I'm sure he's worked on that because it's so vital, especially in the collegiate game, where possessions matter. You know, basketball per se, possessions matter. And uh, that's why you have free throws are possessed possessions also. Dy yeah! Straight and through for Dy. That's how playing with a lot of patience. Extended the lead to 8, 53 to 45. And don't forget that we are saying hi to our friends who are watching us at ANC Global, Los Angeles, Milan, Saudi, Dubai, Sydney, Arau, overcooked. And Tolo Villanueva takes it away. Malabes. Tolo wants it. White tag trying to squeeze the trigger. No, nowhere to go. Seven minutes to go. Rescue to Baklao. Donoy starts his move. Too deep under the sea. Here's long. Shot clock now coming down to 13. There's going to be a foul. Opportunity to send it to Vanille. Coach Norman is looking for a good ball movement here in the fourth, saying you guys can't do this alone. You've got to do it as a team. You can get more penetration by making that extra pass, and most importantly, defense. The defensive intensity of the Eagles has dropped somewhat, and we want to pick that right back up to finish off this game. Devin Randy. Thank you very much, Vanna Lim. For the afternoon report, T.Y. Town with the second foul. Here's Chris Jude down the middle. Too tight, too tight, too tight. Uh, they wanted some numbers and they're gonna go to Chris definitely for a Tang feeling it! Ball is used to you. Yuri is wet and picks it up. Yuri pushing hard, it's a three on two. Is wet as sees a bit of daylight. They shot at the last moment, could be a foul against Walsham. Well, that's all not giving easy baskets. But you know, they're contesting the shots. And for Ateneo, it's critical for them to take the opportunity and make the free throws because LaSalle will commit the fouls here in the fourth. They're not going to shy away from making up the fouls. Walsham with his second foul and Salama shooting free throws now. Yanka Gonzalez uh, in a blue uniform because at the moment the sun's so built into it high school eh we can see our family from the United States is there a program when she's not on? there are a lot of combinations La Salle, high school, Ateneo, college and vice versa vice versa Sharon let's send it to you yeah go ahead you know, Seth, back at the huddle, everyone was contributing pointers left and right. And this time, they focused on the plays, not the side notes, because the boys are working. During the third quarter, they limited their opponent's fast breaks with the Eagles attempting three, but not being able to convert. Offensively, be patient with the ball and always run the ball. Defensively, finish this game with the same intensity when they started it. Just like any fourth quarter in my team, Coach said, no foul. I am looking and hoping work with you in the final seven, Randy. <laughs> in the meantime, Aro is double team. Maklao unable to control it. Salamat, a bit of opening, but not anything happening. Not a single thing happening for Salamat. William Rebus wide open. Oh, oh, oh William Rebus. A little bit defensive. William oh, Rebus attacked it Louisville. effectively. It's Lasalle, 5 and 29 away from a date with UE. Allow you, Beto, let's see what happens in the remaining time after the Samson timeout. With Samson, it's not that hard to imagine.
45, 46, 23,300 plus possibly the highest attendance of any basketball game at the Araneta Coliseum. Matineur throws the ball away. McLeod gets to it. Here's Chris Chu. He pass over to Salamat. Salamat into the gut of the oh, defense. Yes. Yes. That's a big basket. That's a big basket because he can oh, come up with a three point he play and more manageable de deficit. Watch him with his third foul. You know, both these teams, they're just so admirable. They're never giving up, never giving any quarter. Not asked though. Smart, the power to lead moment. You know, Salama is a take charge Bonus guy here in the court. Oh, Nikki Hill went to school to at the Pinel, enjoying herself. Salamat Salamat 10 points, the first player of Atenea to be in double digits. Atenea having a problem scoring from the field. As we find Kasho, whoa, teardrop does not work. Follow up. Nandes swinging around. T.Y. Town being bothered by Jai Reyes. Three, oh! Coming to live with 11 points now. He is the biggest thorn on the Ateneo side. 4.08 remaining. The Lama shot will go nowhere. The Lama trying to ball hop. Ateneo trying. I, uh, I need second hey, violation. Hey, I did a good trap there by Ateneo. Hindi ka agad nakarilisan ng Lasaldo. They had some possession, but you know, they're gonna come back this way. And look at this. This is our Jack and Jill fantastic moment with Jack and Jill. Life is fun. They're having a ball here. They're ahead 58 to 49. I don't think the uh, guards of De La Salle had any idea about the time they had to do it in which to cross the ball over. Aro and Trap but will possibly go to the line after being fouled. Chola Villanueva in the first three quarters, four points, two of five. And in the fourth quarter, exploding with seven more for a total of 11. Watch him with four. You know, Ateneo knows how to go to the finals as a number three seed. The last championship they got they were the number three seed they ousted UE and beat De La Salle in three games in 2002. Thank you along the way. Yes that's, that's uh, the most memorable shot in Jack Chia's career ever even up to now. Some better boys are quarreling with each other as well and <laughs> Kasha. Yes. Perhaps they're not going to call those mini tackle calls at this point. Three and a half remaining, seven point lead by the Green Archers. You, know, you can't lose composure here off the ball, foul committed by Escueta, or rather Ara. Now, in the minds of Delisau, they want to finish off at the nail with something like a 10 or 12 point lead. Six is precarious as you mm -hmm. feel the strain of this game on the Ateneo bench. Six is precarious simply because of what happened in the last game. Uh, this is a, it's a mental thing, really, for Delisau. They're trying to put some space be in a more comfortable zone. But no way for Ateneo, they're not going to give up. They've gone this way, they're going to put pressure on De La Salle. Eleven on the shot clock. Casio lobs it up. Oh! oh Three point shot at that. And the lead has ballooned for La Salle. That could be the turning point. Well said, said. Could be for La Salle, but no, not at the end. They're not going to give up here. They need one big basket here to come around. And why not go to this guy, Chris Chu? Oh, that's a foul. That's Follow really a Vendor. foul. That's Follow really a foul. Chris Chu significantly has not attempted in this quarter because he hasn't had a clear view of the basket. Well, Malabes and Villanueva out for dating on Chris Chu and whoever. Look, look at the shot. 
mark the power to lead moment. So, si JV straight and true to me, Ren. Ganda na forma talaga sa jump shot, eh. Kumbaga, kung sa billiard, eh, pag hindi na ako sa diretso, pwede sa banda. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Hughes taking the first free throw. The bulk of Ateneo points coming from the free throw line, actually, here in the fourth quarter. But shooter, shooter. Uh, it ends stars, so I think, you know, they cannot lose a 251. A lot of time here. Seven point lead for Lasal. Lasal must make good decisions at this point. About the clock, about the shots they make. Shot clock now coming down. This won't work. The ball is loose. Lasal with a chance to recycle. They're going to recycle. They're going to use the clock. You know, Ateneo beats in the series, but it's when Lasal beats Ateneo that seems to count the most. They're all for juggling the ball. Three seconds. Three second violation. Yep. We've had a couple of those here today. Yep. Two minutes and 14. Some similarities in yes in Thursday's oh, yes. ball game, Sam. And I think Chris Chu will be holding the ball here sometime. That's why Jamie Taffy is tying him up. What? Two minutes! And it's the last thing, two minutes, that is, brought to you by PS Bank. Here's Ford Auto, handcuffed here today. His curl will not work. That's his own lift, puts it up, too strong, and a foul. Uh, and a big break for Ateneo. Block not moving, a minute and 49, two free throws for Ford Ara. There's still the chance here for Ateneo. They gotta make good in every opportunity given them. Third foul for Mayor Hopper. Oh, Lasal just knows all too well what happened in the last game. Lasal does not have to rush a three point mm -hmm. shot. They are ahead by six at this point. They do not need to take careless shots. They don't have to finish off Ateneo here. That's why it is, uh, it's a similar situation for them again, greater than 49. They're up by six points. A free throw for Ford Aro. Yeah. Uh, the Green Archers is one of the remaining two timeouts. And we shall take this Samson timeout. Samson, it's not that hard to imagine. Dallasal by five. Jam back that on at the Coliseum at the season hanging on the balance here in the next minute and 46. The game's decided by five points or less. 
this season. Dallas Alex 4 and 3, Ateneo 6 and 3. Laxal does not have to take a shot too early. Kasha changes his mind, however. Look at William Weber, Sir. Yes. He was able to block it down and they recycle. Against the Giants, that is. A minute and 13, Kasha. Kasha looking inside. T.Y. Tanner trying to control the dribble. Cholo, will he put the finish on it? Oh, yes! Cholo, oh, William Weber, Sir. Giving Lasalle a seven point advantage, a minute and six remaining. And then Lasalle beginning to feel it. Our Nike spotlight baller of the game is Rico Mayer Hopper. And we're going to pause for a Samsung timeout. With Samsung, it's not that hard to imagine. Dallas all ahead by seven. The Neo season is down to a minute and two, unless they come up with a miracle because Lasalle shooting so well here in the final quarter. Cholo Villanueva coming to life. 13 points, 6 of 9 from the field, 9 points in the quarter. And there's a foul inside. You know, interesting in the lineup of the Neo, they did have Chris Chu. You have Escueta, Salamat, and Reyes in the ball game. Fifth foul of Walsham. Aro has made a living shooting free throws here in the fourth quarter. Oh, is it for Walsham? And Dallasau, they, they have not wasted that twice to me. Aro is 9 of 9 for the free throw line. And move. Boosting his stock as well, a possible, as you say, possible most of the player award. They have a chance at a career professionally. Here's Dale by Baclau. Again, Lasalle can just use the clock here. The, the big mistake they made last time was not to use the clock. They're doing it today. The shot. Does not work. Escueta has it. 
But will there be enough time? Oh, traveling. Yes. They can feel it. Lasal can feel it. 27 seconds remaining. Seven. The defense has hold on, and the patience in the offense of De La Salle. They're gonna foul. I can see Norman saying, "You gotta foul. They need to stop the clock." 62, 57 in favor of La Salle. And I'm looking at Dindo Pomarin right now. Dindo is thinking, "This is where I'm going. This is who I will play." There's Dindo taking down notes. De La Salle maintaining their voice in this game. Losing an early lead, but really coming to life in the third quarter. Was leading at the end of the third, 48-43. And the Stan Blue Bubble Battalion suddenly feeling their season slip away. 25.8 seconds, Casio. But they managed to extend their season. Uh, after losing that forgettable game against Enya, this is their point of view. Foul, they're gonna foul. Enya just mixing up the cauldron, so to speak. Some of Paulian. There's one of the penalty. They really need to stop the club around the nail. Lasal wants it to somebody who can shoot the free throws. Yeah, the foul given up. So that's why they put Oliver Swan because he's a shooter. And for the Arau. Four fouls. Esqueta and Long will go out and the shooters are in. Jai Reyes and Christian. Long faces. A lot of them on the blue side of the floor. Starter for the last two games for De La Salle, Oliver Kua. Small door, small door for the yep. It's a two possession game, 62-57-7. I don't question Crash, but uh, the others played just so well. And after now, he picks it up after the two misses. Here's Chris Joe. Chris Joe slows it down. Chris Joe needs to rush things. Goes over to McLeod. The three. Yes! yes! Here we go. They will foul. They will foul. They have no choice. McLeod said, I have no choice. I gotta put it up. Now, it's important to make it two free throws for JV Casio to make it a two possession game. One free throw or no free throws made will open the doors for Ateneo. Lasalle has one timeout to go. Ateneo out of timeouts. All of a sudden, there is life for Ateneo after the three point shot of Paplau. For De La Salle, JV just needs to sink both. Yes, that, that's what they needed. He knocks in the first. Remember the UE game, Seb. You'd rather be leading by four. That three. Definitely seven. 11.2 seconds remaining. Whatever happens here, Ateneo will try to go for a three-point shot when they get the ball back. And rush it. And really rush it. Kasha scores. And I don't ah. Could be the insurance. So what Nassal will do is foul Ateneo shooting three-point shot. They're in the penalty. De La Salle. Well, there, there'll be time to race it up. Why not give it to Chris Chu? Chris Chu, will he have a chance to put it up? No! And Benesal, snaring that rebound. There's a foul, two more seconds remaining. The escape route has been blocked by LaSalle. Same situation they faced last Thursday. And De La Salle looks like it's well on its way to playing UE in the finals. The two free throws of Gasha sealed it actually. Sixty-five, sixty. I think they're saying goodbye by saying see you next year. Five games just too much for the week of heart, I guess.
and that will do it for this one. Aspelasol will be in the finals against QE. Again, we see Eli and Chris at the middle of the court. And what a tribute to the series quality of the games played by both sides. Unbelievable. The quality, the game, the intensity. Fans being congratulated. There were moments of extreme anxiety and that the nail season comes to an end. And we shall be back to wrap this all up after these messages. Sharon Yu has the winning coach, Bouncelor. Hi, my friends, for what? Sharon? First and foremost, Coach Franz, congratulations. What do you think is the major difference between last Thursday's ball game and today's ball game? Well, I guess uh, we really uh, played smart today. We really executed even down to the last uh, few seconds. I guess uh, this is the only time that two is greater than three. Yes. Coach, what did you tell your team that served as their motivational drive in today's ball game? You know, I've been telling my players uh, they deserve to be in the finals. I, uh, I guess uh, for the last how many months we've been really working hard to achieve our goal is to make it to the finals. And like what I mentioned in the papers, I have complete trust in my players that we're going to win this game. Okay then, thank you coach. Okay. More of UAAP Season 70 only here on Studio 23.